Hey guys, Mark Illy here, and we're gonna go into a little bit of Facebook ads data that uh, I'm working on for one of my clients. So, as you can see, we are getting a 3.83 average ROAS for a very, very competitive niche, and we are killing it right now, um, so to say. This campaign is getting 4.26 ROAS, as you can see. Our look-alike audiences, what I'm always talking about, is doing a 4.99 solely on website purchases, uh, EIG followers 180 days, and retargeting. Um, and we also have a, uh, we're using an email list, like I always am telling about. How using these email lists with, um, you know, these different kind of tools, like um, there is, Apollo you can use, there's igleads.io, and you basically can scrape the web for custom lists, um, and then from there, you know, load them into Facebook to create lookalike audiences, and we've seen tremendous results with that. So this one, Nike's getting a 4.37 ROAS, our cold sales, doing dogs facebook paid pet supplies oh these are new ones we said today our email list like we spoke about uh those are new today as well um fashion brands marshall's and tj maxx is one that's doing really well 4.5 row as so again it's really all about testing and it's about that cross targeting that's where you're going to see the most results because when you cross target for interests that most people wouldn't expect, like Ikea, for instance, look at that, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, you know, you're getting a $12 per purchase, you're getting a 3.95 ROAS, 4.4 on this, female entrepreneur, we're getting a 6.6 .6 ROAS, uh, but we moved it to a different campaign. Um, so, you know, just keeping in mind that you have to be testing and you have to keep on you know, moving the needle for these things and, and keep on testing until you find new audiences. And when you stop testing, then you're not gonna find new audiences. And it's not because you're selling pet products, you should target pet people. You need to think on how a person would think, right? And, and what are they interested? What could they like as well as pet products that you're cross-targeting to get people interested and buy your product for a lower cost because if you're selling you know something that has to do with sunglasses for instance and you know that you're going to target sunglasses or fashion accessories you're going to pay a lot more of a premium because everyone is thinking that everyone is running ads to that audience it's the things you're not thinking about like okay well the people that buy my sunglasses Hey, they also eat at Cheesecake Factory. So I'm going to, you know, I'm, I think the Cheesecake Factory clientele might be good for my sunglasses. And thinking outside of the box, that's how you discover these new interests. You discover how to get high ROAS and how you can continue to scale and try new things. And all this applies to whether it's worldwide or whether it's, uh, you know, USA only you have to keep testing, you have to think outside of the box, and you have to go with cross-targeting and changing it up and doing something different that not everyone's doing. Having those scroll-stopping ads, having those videos that are interesting, setting up your pixel right, setting up your catalogs right, setting up your website for conversion optimization, using UGC content, using social proof, spending time to build up your Facebook page likes, spending time to build up your Instagram following. So keep that in mind. I hope this helps. And uh, if you need any help, just shoot me a message. See ya.